Here we go. We arrived to Harajuku Station. It's a beautiful summer day. Today, I'm planning to walk from Harajuku Station to Shibuya Station and try to find good street food on the way. Not sure how many foods I can eat, but let's explore the town with me. I'm at Takeshita Street now. This place is always busy, especially right now because of the summer vacation. There are even more people compared to the regular season. However, because of the state of emergency, seems like less people. Anyway, there are so many stores and the restaurants. Hope we can find a good food. Hey guys, welcome to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Seno. Go! Alright, so let's keep walking. Let's go. One good thing about this street, even this is a, such a busy street, but we have Daiso here. Yeah, I wanted to buy the hand wipes, so let's get the hand wipes first. Let's go. Seems like this is the section. Oh, this is the alcohol gel that I'm using it. And I'm looking for the hand wipes. This one is too big. I want to find a smaller one. I'm wondering if they have. Here we go. This is the one. Well, actually, this one is a little bit different compared to the one I use, but uh, I think it's okay. Let's get this. Wow, it's really beautiful day. I got the hand wipes. Three small packs of hand wipes for 100 Japanese yen. I think it's a great deal. I always use the Daiso. Anyway, I'm hungry, so let's find something to eat. Let's go. Oh, I guess that's a popular store in Harajuku. That's a cotton candy and also they serve the ice cream. Yeah, that should be the ice cream. I hope. This could be my first food. However, it doesn't attract my appetite much. So let's find a different food. Let's go. This Takeshita street is designed for young adults. So you can find many interesting items like that ice cream. You can drink the brown sugar boba milk tea with 400 Japanese yen. Sounds like a good deal, huh? <laughs> Look at that. They also have a gold foil brown sugar boba milk tea. This one is not the half price, 1000 Japanese yen. Well, this is, sounds like something that YouTubers should try. However, I don't want to drink gold, so I think it's okay. Well, I remember there is a sweet shop there called Zaku Zaku. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, this is the one. Let's try the Zaku Zaku for the very first food. Let's get it. So it seems like they have a special offer on 3rd and the 9th. <laughs> if you get the ice cream, you can get the extra round. One size up. I was thinking of getting the cream puff, but I found the ice cream version of it. So I decided to order it. I didn't know they had the ice cream version too. Price is 380 Japanese yen. A bit expensive compared to the regular cream puff, but it looks good. Let's try that. Let's go. Ryan, I'm a yes. fan of yours. Oh, can sweet. I take a picture? Of course, you? of course. Speaking of zaku zaku, you know, when you eat something crispy, there's a sound. And in Japanese, we express that zaku zaku. Does it look like a crispy to you? <laughs> Even not. Yes, it is crispy. Anyway, let's eat. Itadakimasu. Oh, delicious. Well, I love Zaku Zaku's cream puff. The outside is really crispy and then they put the cream inside. However, even they put the ice cream, it's perfect. <laughs> but uh, I guess I need to eat quick, otherwise it's already melting. Well, even it's melting, it's pretty good. Speaking of the ice cream, it's really nice milk flavor because there are the gaps between inside and outside. So even the ice cream after it melted, it's still crispy. Mm. Well, I think it's perfect for the first food. All right, so that was very good for the first food. Let's go to find the next food. And I'm so glad that I can find the garbage trash here. Sweet. It's 
speaking of this Takeshita street, during the summer vacation season, whenever I came, I felt like it's like a summer festival because there are so many people. However, after the pandemic, it became really less. Yep, as you can see, really few people in the street. Hope the situation gets better soon and the people can come back to this street. This is the end of Takeshita street. Now, let's go to walk Omote Sando. Let's go. So we are at Omote Sando right now. That's a Tokyo Plaza. On top of the Tokyo Plaza, there is a really nice square. And also there is a Starbucks too. So if you want to take a rest in the busy street, that's the perfect place to take a rest. So speaking of Omote Sando, there are many fancy fashion stores here. There are many restaurants in the back street. I'm not that familiar yet. So let's explore there. Let's go. Oh, here. I found something that I want to introduce. Well, if you have visited Japan, as you know, there are really few trash cans in Japan. However, here we have trash can. Nice. And also, this is not the regular trash can. It's automated. <laughs> it was a bit different than what I thought, but if we don't touch it, we can trash it. And actually, there are solar panels and they count how much trash inside. And when it becomes full, they let the staff know and they come here to pick it up. Well, it sounds like advanced, right? Hmm. Well, my personal opinion, before they making this kind of fancy trash can, Hope they can make more trash can in the city. Anyway, let's go to the back street. Let's keep walking. Oh, look at this takoyaki restaurant. I thought it's a regular takoyaki restaurant, but I found something that I have never tried. Huh, interesting. It's hiyashi bukkake takoyaki. Well, takoyaki, but it's cold. Mixed with sesame oil? It sounds good though. I've never tried that, so why not? Let's try this one for the second food. By the way, they have a super spicy takoyaki too, though. Well, I personally want to try the super spicy takoyaki, but I'm afraid that I can't finish it. So why not? Let's get this hiyashi bukkake takoyaki. Uh, let me order. Ah, sorry. Hi, welcome. Eh, to hiyashi bukkake takoyaki, one. Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you. Hi, thank you. Wow, that's really interesting. Oh, alright, the next food, hiyashi takoyaki. <laughs> Very interesting. Actually, there are many ice inside. <laughs> yes, it must be cool. And then also, I can smell the really good sesame oil flavor. Yeah, feels like I'm eating a Chinese food, but it's not. Let's eat. Itadakimasu. Okay, so there are four takoyaki inside. <laughs> Here we go. Seems like it's regular takoyaki. Itadakimasu. Oh, oishi. It's very interesting. Well, takoyaki is also cold, as you can imagine. Takoyaki inside, there are nice dashi flavor and also the soup. I don't know I can call it soup or not, but then perfect with sesame oil. I know, it sounds still weird for you, but I really love this uniqueness. You know, I was born and raised in Osaka, but I've never heard the hiyashi takoyaki. Mm. He told me that this one was originally makanai. Makanai is the food for staff. Usually, restaurants make the original casual menu for the staff. And then this one was the makanai food. And it gets super popular in the restaurant, so that's why he started selling it. Takoyaki is a hot food, so maybe it's not really good for summer, especially if you are eating outside. But uh, this cold takoyaki, it's perfect. Thank you. And after you finish it, you can give it to them, he can trash it. Anyway, next spot is Shibuya, so let's keep walking. Let's go. 
Uh, from Omote Sando to Shibuya, it's really close, not that far. Actually, we are almost Shibuya, I believe. <laughs> anyway, let's keep walking. Oh, look at this store. I've never seen this before. They sell cola, but seems like they have an original cola though. Interesting, but a little bit expensive compared to the regular Coke. 500 Japanese yen for the the dreamy flavor. The dreamy flavor. Wow. Milk cola. This is the one they recommend. The price is 600 Japanese yen. Well, you know, since I'm here, why not? Let's try that. Let's go. All right, so let me order here. Oh, look at that, it's nice. This place, cashless only. So you can't use the cash. We recently having a several stores that cashless only. So if you are coming to Japan, they wanna try all the stuff, probably you wanna get the cashless something too. But you can get the train IC card everywhere, so don't have to worry about much. But I love the concept of cashless only. Miru Kora. Here we go. That's interesting. <laughs> so I read it as a milk cola, but actually it's a milk cola. Well, it's same. Anyway, let's try it. Let's make kampai with this milk cola. <laughs> this is milk cola. The price is 600 Japanese yen compared to regular Coke. Definitely it's expensive. Maybe this is the most expensive Coke that I have drank. She told me that first I need to mix it. Well, I'm wondering how the taste like. <laughs> uh, something what I realized is that uh, this is mostly milk. Oh, maybe, you know what? I can close it in the shape. <laughs> Never mind. Mm. Well, I don't know how much I should mix, but uh, I think it's good enough. All right, so let me try that. Well, I usually make kanpai with beer, but today it's cola. So, kanpai. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> It's really interesting. Uh, let me shake it more. I think after shake it, it would be better. It does taste like a cola. Mm. Well, I don't feel pop inside, but maybe there is. I'm not sure. First, I can taste the milk. It's kind of a rich condensed milk. After that, the flavor of ginger. I think it makes the cola taste. If I pick the closest taste, maybe vanilla Coke is a closer, but more like milk flavor compared to vanilla Coke. Hmm. 600 Japanese yen? Maybe it's kind of expensive. However, yes, we are paying money for the experience. So, you have the perfect experience. Thank you, Yoshikawa. Oh, what a beautiful day. Loving it. Ah, there's a trash can here. So, I guess I can trash it here. I think I have to trash the ice and lemon here. This one here. Recycling, it's perfect. Okay, so Shibuya is almost there. Let's keep walking. Let's go. Well, I thought more people would be here, but seems like less people. Well, the students are in the summer break, so it could be more people though. Anyway, that's Miyashita Park looks like right now. How about the first floor? Let's go to check. Wow, seems like really popular. Actually, there are lines over there too. So according to that message, you can get the pinbachi if you get the coke. Uh, I think if we don't buy anything, we can see that. Let's go check it. Yeah, I guess the reason why it's so crowded because they have an Olympic pinbachi. So those are the pinbachis you might get. <laughs> and interesting, actually, you have to do the gachapon and you might win something that you want. Anyway, should I be in line? How do you guys think? Huh, seems like I have to wait for a long time though. Let me ask if how long I have to wait. <laughs> so actually he told me that I have to wait 
if I be in line about 30 to 40 minutes. However, I can't be in line because there are so many people making a line. So maybe after 30 minutes, I can come back here and I can be in line and then another 40 or 30 minutes, I can go to that place and I can do the gacha pong. It sounds really fun. However, yes, our time is limited. <laughs> Not really, but uh, yeah. Maybe next time is fine. Anyway, let's keep walking. Let's go. And here we go. Now I'm at the Shibuya Scramble intersection. Well, I'm kind of getting full, so <laughs> let me find some dessert. I think that would be great. So let's keep walking. Let's go. Seems like they are making some festival in the Sibuya Center Street. Oh, I'm not sure what kind of festival it is though. Oh, okay. Yeah, so it's a Tanabata festival. So Tanabata festival is actually July 7th. However, they are making the Tanabata festival until the August 10th. Nice. Oh, I got the great idea. How about the Swedish food? Well, actually, I know some place near here selling the Swedish food. <laughs> yes, <laughs> this place. Yeah, why not? Let's try the IKEA food court. Let's go. This IKEA is located in center of Shibuya, so the food court is much smaller than other IKEA. They are mainly selling something that you can eat at home and sandwiches and breads. Oh, seems like this croissant is Japan original thing and also looks good. Let's get this. Oh, you know what? Actually, they have the meatball right here. But seems like that's too much for me now. That's a lot. So, I think this bread is good enough. Hi, so All right, so I got the Anko Croissant. Interesting. I've never tried that. So, let's find a place to eat. There is a Yoyogi Park right next to Shibuya, which is a really big park. I think we can find a place to eat there. So, let's keep walking. Yeah, I saw many police around here, so I was wondering why, but yeah, that's the reason. Seems like there is an Olympic Stadium there. Oh, there was my shooting spot. Used to be no one there, but seems like it's closed now due to the Olympic. It's okay, let's find some other place. I think this place is good, no one is around me. Feels much better. Today I pick Ebis beer because they got the new picture on it. So it feels like a new stuff. And also the Anko Croissant. I'm wondering how the Anko Croissant tastes like. Let's try this. By the way, it's really hot. Yeah, I sweat a lot. Maybe I should get the white t-shirt. Yeah, black t-shirt get hotter. Anyway, let's come by. Come by. Ah, I got. So how about this Anko croissant? Let me try that. So Anko is a traditional Japanese sweet, which is the sweet red bean paste. So I believe they put the Anko inside. Itadakimasu. Mmm. Ushii. Outside it's really crispy, and then when I bite it, really nice bakery flavor. Well, does it make sense? Bakery flavor. Savory flavor, maybe. <laughs> and there is the Anko inside. Sweet red bean paste. Actually, it's not that sweet. Yeah, it's not like a cake or candy sweetness level. It's more like, you know, really mild sweetness. Anyway, it's sweet, so I think it's perfect with coffee. <laughs> well, it's perfect with beer too, though. <laughs> yeah, for me, pretty much anything can go with beer. How do you think? What kind of food do you think does not go with beer? If you have a idea, please let me know. Yeah, really peaceful place. So Harajuku, Omotesando, Shibuya, there are really few people. However, still there are many good restaurants working for it, open for them, waiting the customers. Yeah, I believe they are having a really hard time. Hope people can come back to the street and can support them. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Speaking of myself, I'm a travel photographer. I have taken many photos like this. 
So if you haven't, please check my Instagram account. And also, there are over 300 videos about Japan travel and Japanese food. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification so that you will not miss my new video and surprise live stream. Thank you so much for watching my video. So see you on the Sunday live stream. Arigato! Oh, Olympic is almost gone. Well, Japan prepared for the Olympic for a very long time. But once started, it was really quick. <laughs> yeah, only three weeks, four weeks. I'm not sure. Yeah, but that was really quick. I know there are so many opinions about the Olympic game, but for me, I personally think I'm so happy that we had the Olympic in Tokyo. It was so inspiring for me. You know, there are so many athletes. And for them, Olympic is a huge deal. Only once in four years. If they miss this time's Olympic Games, probably some athlete cannot have the chance for the next time's Olympic. So I'm so happy that they could have a chance that they can compete in the Olympic Games. Even someone wins and someone loses, they cry. Yeah, I'm remembering when was the last time I cried. Well, I usually don't cry, but sometimes I cry too, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Only the time I cry is that I spend so much time, so much effort, and then sacrifice so many things. Then some result came out and then finally I cry because that's how important. I can feel that athletes spend so long time for the games, so that's why it's so moving and so inspiring as well. So I want to say big thank you for the athletes. If my videos or if myself can be some inspiration for someone's life, that would be my great pleasure. And that's why I make a videos and live streams for. Well, you know, that's the wonderful thing. Through these videos, I can talk to a lot of people. Isn't it wonderful? <laughs> well, anyway, <laughs> maybe it doesn't make sense for you. But uh, yeah, that's something what I want to say. And then that's something I really want to appreciate for the Olympics. <laughs> All right, so this video pretty much that's it. Thank you so much for watching my video. See you next Go. <laughs> Have a great week. Bye-bye.